you have to admit, IMG underscore 1765 doesn't really tell you much about the image. So let's change that. Capture One has a very robust naming feature with lots of options, but for this quick tip video, we're just going to be focusing on a simple naming convention that works really well for in-studio headshot sessions. When shooting tethered into Capture One, images are named by the next capture naming tool and not the camera itself. So when we create a new Capture One session, typically we like to use a simple naming convention like first name last name, headshots. Then we replace spaces with hyphens in the capture name. Once inside Capture One, head over to the next capture naming tool, click on the three dots and delete the camera counter. Add a hyphen and drop in the one digit counter. Change it to four digits and you're basically all done. If you wanna add in a date token or any other token or words, feel free to do that now. But for most of you, this is a simple naming convention that works perfectly well. If you're shooting more than one person, you can simply change the name in next capture adjustments and the file name will update for the next image that you take. Now your client name will be embedded right into the file name, which makes it super simple for you or your client to find their images in the future. If you're interested in more advanced naming methods, check out some of our other quick tip videos or one of our courses at headshotmethod.com.